Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past few video tutorials, we had explored about the Java 7 features. We had started from the binary literals and we have covered till type inference for generic instance creation. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the last one saying that improved compiler warnings and errors when non refiable formal parameters and where args method. So if you go to the this link Oracle documentation link, then this talks about the these improvements in Java 7. So if you come down, then the, that talks about a lot of things about this enhancement. So I'm not going to go through all these texts, but I'll brief out in a few minutes. So saying that, uh, we, first of all, when we talk about the refival versus non refival uh, we know that type eraser is an important feature of generics in java right it means generics are not available at runtime as they are effectively removed during compilation uh, like a refival type is a type whose type information is fully available at runtime non refival types are types where information has been removed at compile time by type eraser. When we talk about the generics versus arrays, in Java, generics are refival and arrays are refival. Sorry, generics are non refival and arrays are refival. Problems can occur when we combine these two together. Right? Combining these two together can happen when using the where arg uh, construction in Java. So when we pa pass a where arg argument uh, as a where arg as a method argument, then there are certain problems occurs. A reason uh, reason for this is that where arg's way of using method parameter is translated within the method as an array. This can cause heap pollutions. So if you go to the this link, then that talks about the heap pollution. What is heap pollutions? So if you guys are more interested on this, then you can go through the text and that explains about the what is heap pollution and all. So <coughs> basically, if you code uh, in this way, then this code may lead to the uh, heap pollution, right? Basically, this combines both uh, non refival and refival type of data. Right. If you put cursor over here, then you can see that showing a warning thing saying that type safety potential heap pollution via where arcs parameter elements complete. You can see that this warning and whenever you try to call this method, this is also saying that type safety a generic array of list string is created for the where arcs parameter. So uh, as the compiler doesn't know when the when uh, basically this heap pollution happens and uh, it throws out the warning right hence we need for the add safe where arcs on rotation for those methods where the software designers are certain the problem does not occur right so here if you want to remove this uh, warning then this method has to annotate with add safe warning so this is the one of the more annotations added in the I think if you go to here then you can see that belongs to the java.lang package and that was added in JDK 1.7 right. So once you annotate your method right with add shift where arcs that error has gone and this calling part also error has gone and uh, if I, I run this program this will run perfectly fine right. So that's all I wanted to discuss in this video tutorial guys. So I hope you enjoy learning this video. If you want to know more about uh, this improved compiler warnings and errors when using non refival formal parameters and where arcs method, then you can go to the this link, this Oracle documents link. And this link I am going to provide in the video description part as well. So that you can navigate from there itself on this link. So guys, big thank you for watching this video and see you next video tutorial